Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, welcome to the next episode of Are You Afraid of the Dark Season 5. The last episode that we watched was the first episode of the season, The Tale of the Dead Man's Flow, and we got introduced to a new potential Midnight Society member, Stig. Now, I wasn't the biggest fan of Stig. I edited the episode this morning, and I still wasn't just a big fan of his introduction. The character was kind of a bit unlikable, and I think it, obviously they wanted to go with somebody a bit different to all the usual people that we've had so far. Someone completely different, and his whole aesthetic is fine, kind of that like alternative rocker kind of guy, fine. But the way he was treating their belongings and the girls was a little bit like blah, blah, blah. so. We'll have to wait and see where they go with that character because he told a great story. The Dead Man's Float was brilliant, but they said at the end. We're not sure if we're going to let you in yet. We'll wait till you've told another story, which may be this one. I don't know. But yeah, with the Dead Man's Slot, the actual storyline was really good. I remember it from being a kid, being really creepy. The monster was spooky, like it used to be to me. I think a part of that is, because it scared me as a kid, I kind of brought that fear with me towards an adult. Whereas, if you never watched it as a kid, maybe, I don't think you'd be too scared of it. I'm not sure. But I really enjoyed the episode and thought it was a really great, strong start to the season. Now, this episode is called The Tale of the Jagged Sign. Honestly, I have no idea what this episode's about. None at all. I don't know who tells it. Maybe maybe it sticks with the chance at uh, joining the Midnight Society. Maybe someone else tells the story before we go back to stick. I'm not sure. But, Jagged Sign. I can't think of anything in my head. Like, with a lot of the episodes I don't remember, sometimes I've got images of things from the episode. For example, there's an episode at the end of the season called The Tale of Badge. And I remember, like, like a rat type dude but I don't know anything except for that or I remember there's someone without a face with like a dressing on I think in an episode and just some stuff from later episodes and six seasons but Jagged Sign I couldn't tell you anything about it what would I guess from the title maybe maybe it's a Sardo episode maybe he sells someone a, a spell about a Jagged Sign or an item that has a Jagged Sign on it and it's like a cursed item it's probably not to do with that. I probably have no idea what it's about. So let's jump into the episode to find out what it's about. If you enjoyed the video, guys, please let me know down below in the comments what you thought of the episode and the reaction. Subscribe to my channel if you're not already. And please take a look at the Patreon link down below to help support the channel and watch a few episodes ahead of YouTube. Let's jump into You've Heard of the Dark Season 5, Episode 2, The Tale of the Jagged Sign. Okay, he's got the bag on the head again. So that's Stig's not taking off the bag until you can accept them for who he is. <laughs> yeah, okay. Psycho. So it does feel like a bit more like chronological order, maybe. You're not making points this way. <laughs> You're not getting in the Midnight Society this week because Kiki's up. So, so it's Kiki's turn. Okay, cool. So it is like in the right order. That's good. Symbols, like signs, drawings. It showed how ancient Egyptians used symbols to communicate. They yeah. did hieroglyphics. They do pictures instead of letters. Exactly. So I was thinking about how much we use symbols too. But imagine a symbol you've never seen before. Okay. So it's the jagged sign. It could mean anything. Looks like a bird. Good news. A party. Or it could be a sign of something else. Something evil. Maybe a warning. Of unspeakable evil. <laughs> The tale, the tale of the of jagged, jagged sign. sign. I'm so excited for this one because I have no idea what I'm walking into. Walking into? I'm just sat here, but you know what I mean. <laughs> Everyone Claudia knew was doing something really cool for summer vacation. Scenic Except Vista. She's staying with family? Oh, is that you? Spending a few weeks with her aunt Devon in the middle of nowhere? Wasn't exactly her idea of an exciting Good old time. setup, typical hey, setup for a story. Nervous? Spending oh, time with some family that we've never really spent much time Sorry, with in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, it has been a crazy morning. Let's say hi Look at those big blue pants. <clears throat> Attention oh, everyone. Okay. I'd like you to meet my niece, Claudia. So she runs like an old people's home? About time we had some new blood around here. Am I the only... Oh, the boiler man. I forgot all about him. Your room's in there. I'll be back in a sec. So she's the only young person around. And no person's home for summer. Oh, poor girl. But also, you shouldn't really go through other people's bedrooms. 
Not only really been there for five minutes. Pretty hair. Oh god. Such pretty hair. I once had hair like that too, you know. Um, I'm sorry, I didn't mean it's to come in here. It's okay. Marjorie, this is my niece. She'll be staying with us for a while. How nice. You two can have a chat later. I'm hoping she's just nice and not sinister. Is she okay? Oh, sure. She just gets confused once in a while. <laughs> Why well, do I feel like it's gonna be like a really sad episode rather than scary? <laughs> Are there any, like, younger people staying here? Hmm. Well, Ralph Krieger's only 67. <laughs> <laughs> I know what you mean. There's a girl next door named Kate. I told her Good. You <laughs> Thanks, Kate. You want to play baseball? I Is this really Kate? I hope you're not Kate. No, I'm Kate. Oh, okay. Hi, I'm Claudia. Hi. Your aunt told me you were coming. Your parents went on a trip? Yeah, to South America. <laughs> I got dumped here. That is a very like goosebump style um, set up for a book. My family have gone away on an expedition for two weeks or on a holiday for two weeks, and I have to stay with a random long lost family member or someone that I've never met before. There's lots of woods around here. Are there any good hiking trails? Are you kidding? That's all there is. You want to see? Yeah. Cool. But hiking in the woods, I mean, kids going hiking in the woods sounds like a bad idea, but you know, it is you afraid of the dark, so everything they do is going to end up badly. We shouldn't go too far from the path. Don't stray from the path. Or something spooky. Oh, oh God. I might feel a bit down. sick. <laughs> Hello? What's so funny? What? Why are you laughing? I'm not. Whoa! What? What have you seen? Then we heard someone like laughing. Can I tell that they may have been, been crying? She said it was laughing in the woods. What is this? Oh, the symbol. Let's go, okay? But what's that symbol? You'll think it's. It silly. looks like the top of a bird. Try me. People say this used to be some kind of ancient burial ground. Cool. And something bad happened here years ago. Someone was murdered. No Ooh. way. Really? Yeah. And apparently that sign just appeared overnight. But. What's it mean? Maybe it's to do with like that woman, the one that had the Jack's bird. Sign. They say it's the mark of the dead man. Mark of the dead man. Oh. Spooky. Where are you going? I want to go up and check it out. I don't think you should. Why not? You don't believe in that ghost stuff, do you? I think she does. Well, no, but I'm sort of scared of heights. So I'll go myself. I don't think there's a way out. Yeah? Then how'd he get up there? He looks like the guy from Captured Souls. He's wearing the same bloody outfit. It's really weird. Uh oh. It's got to be the top of a bird. That's why I think it's to do with that woman who had the white doves on the little yeah. music box. <laughs> Do you know anything about Claudia? What? Don't mention the ghosts. What's the matter? Do you know anything about that jagged sign thing in the woods? <sighs> Kate, did you take her up there? Uh, yeah, sort of. I don't want you girls out there. Why? It is dangerous. You don't think it's really haunted, do you? Of course not. But that cliff's dangerous. That's no place for two young girls to be... Even if there's no ghost. To be... What's that smell? Uh-oh. Marjorie, no! Oh, I was just making some soup and then all of a sudden all this smoke. Oh, I'm sorry, Yvonne. Oh, I'm so sorry. It's okay, Marjorie. It's uh, okay. Oh, I really thought I was going to have a really sad ending. <laughs> we'll, we'll help Maybe she should be in no. more of a, like a Thanks. sheltered accommodation. Okay. Just do me a stuff. favor and stay close to the house. Why did you leave your bedroom door open? Not when there's multiple people that live there. Hello? Can't sleep. Maybe some milk. <laughs> I mean, I'm probably wrong, but I'm short the exact outfit the guy wore. 
from the captured souls. There's definitely a ghost. Just gonna draw the dragon sign again. It's up of a bird. If it's not up of a bird, I will eat my hat. Your aunt said I wanted something exciting to happen around here. This is it. But it's dangerous. <laughs> it is dangerous. What could he do to us? It's Push off a cliff. It's the cliff. That place is hairy. Well, maybe you're afraid of heights, but I'm not. I just spoke to Marjorie's nephew, and he agreed that it's best to move her someplace where they can look after her properly. Yeah. You mean like a rest home? That makes sense. Someplace with medical care. I just wanted to make sure you meant to give this away. I know it's old and everything, but I thought it might have some kind of sentimental value or oh. something. <laughs> Cute. The ghost. The actor looks really familiar. <laughs> Ladies used to tie up a lock of their hair and give it to their boyfriends. <laughs> it was a sign of undying love. So is the ghost her old boyfriend, maybe? Here it is. Maybe that's why the right ghost here. is showing up to Claudia. Because she looks similar. Who's the guy? I don't know. Must be her bow. Is it the ghost? I think it's the ghost. Joshua. Joshua. How I must have hurt you. But I couldn't help it. Hurt uh, you how? Joshua and I were hoping to be married. But we knew that our parents would never allow it. <laughs> because we were so young. Mm. So we decided to elope. We were going to meet at our secret place in the woods. Oh, but then he died, baby. Marjorie. Take Marjorie to the cliff so she can say, speak to him and let him rest in peace. Well, this is not a good idea, girl. I mean, seriously. My parents discovered our plan and prevented me from meeting him. He died believing that I chose not to come. Oh, that is sad. No wonder but he can't rest. they wouldn't let me. Climbed up on the ledge. I was drawing a to draw the symbol of our love. Yeah. For everyone to see. The bird. I said it was the bird. But the ledge is dangerous. And he fell before he could finish. And before he could finish, he fell. Oh. I never loved anyone else. And he died, thinking I rejected him. <laughs> so sad. Marjorie. Can I borrow this? I mean, girl, you're stupid for going up this high. It's not that... It's not dangerous it is. I mean, this is a beautiful area. Remember, this was shot. Beautiful. But also, really dangerous for kids to be running around in woods like this. Okay. I mean, she's a strong child being able to pull up because I think he's taller than her. I waited for you, Marjorie. Oh. Why did you take so long? You to think come? she's Marjorie? Don't you love me? What's he talking about? She's not Marjorie, Joshua. Marjorie couldn't come. Her parents stopped her. She kept this all these years, Joshua, as a sign of her love for you. Just like the sign you never finished. She still loves me? Yes, Joshua. You should go to her. Yeah. That is like a really sad way to die. Oh. Told you it was the top of a bird. What happened? But it's a really sad way to die. Like, he finished you what he started feel like the person that you love doesn't want to be with you. And you fall off a cliff. Look! Hmm, <laughs> they're together now. Cute. Marjorie passed Cute. away that very afternoon. Yeah. Everyone said how peaceful she looked at the end. Um. Even happy. Okay. <laughs> how <laughs> random. Because she was going on to a better place. <laughs> so what do you think, Stig? He says he can't breathe. What? 
I'm going next time. This bag thing ain't making it. All right. Okay. Sticks up next, and we'll take a final vote on whether he gets in or not. All right. So I hope the episodes I've got are in the right order. Because <laughs> sticks should be next week. You're not in yet. Keep the bandana. <laughs> Okay guys, that was my reaction to Are You Afraid of the Dark Season 5 Episode 2, The Tale of the Jagged Sign, and we had Kiki this time up. What I liked is, as I've talked about throughout all my reactions of the channel, is that there's, a, there's so many different orders for each season, depending on what kind of list you look at online, and so I didn't know from the list that I looked at, is that the best order to watch it in, but luckily it seemed like at least the first two, at least so far, I've been really good continuity-wise, so the last episode, Stig was introduced, wasn't included into the Midnight Society, but they said they'll give him another chance. This episode, Stig was there, but he was listening to another story, but next week is going to be his turn to tell another story, and they'll see if they will let him into the Midnight Society. So I like that there's more of like a through line with the Midnight Society this season, I'm quite enjoying that, and we'll see what happens next time, if it's in the right order. <laughs> but they tell the jacket sign, I feel like this episode was sold to the audience incorrectly. So what I mean by that is, when Kiki was doing an introduction speech about symbols and whatnot, and the importance of symbols and signs, she said like, maybe, what if the sign's something of like, the warning of like, pure evil, or something to that effect. She mentioned the word evil and a warning, blah, blah, blah. It wasn't that at all. It really wasn't anything like that. It was one of the nicer episodes, like Are You Afraid of the Dark? They'll have something really scary and they'll have like a nice, kind of cute, sweet episode with a little supernatural thing throughout. But they'll be like the more, there was it, the more girly ones, I guess you could argue. But the more easy to watch episodes like this one. So they're not as like stressful or scary or spooky. But saying that it's like something about a sign of evil, it wasn't. So. We got this girl who, like, are typical. If you ever read Goosebumps or any kind of that that kind of book series, Goosebumps, Ghosts of Fear Street, Shivers. There's always a very typical storyline of people go and stay with their family members while their parents go away for a couple of weeks and do something without them, and then something spooky happens there. And this was that. And so I was really invested in this girl going to stay at this old people's home while her parents were away for a couple of weeks, and then she had a new friend and blah blah blah. Um. The second that I saw the jagged sign, even when Kiki drew it, I went, that's the top of a bird. <laughs> I feel like if they wanted to kind of obscure what the sign meant, to not give away the link between Marjorie, the little music box thing, and the sign slash the ghost, they should have maybe done a different sign, something a bit more obscure, something that could have been seen as multiple different things. But the second I saw it, I was like, that's the top of a bird, it was the top of the two wings and the head. So, I was a little disappointed that that was so obvious, but again, it's a show aimed at children, not at people in the thir early 30s, so, <laughs> yeah. Um, maybe when I was a kid, I wouldn't have seen that, but I feel like the symbol is really obviously a bird, so maybe as a kid, I might have done, I don't know, but there's this sign on this cliff in the woods, these kids are allowed to just roam free in the woods with cliffs, that's fine, it was the 90s at a different time. There's a sign on the cliff, and if you, there's a ghost there, and it can push people to your doom, Indian Barrow Ground, all these different theories that we saw, that we heard, what it ended up just being was this guy was meant to meet the love of his life, to be with her, to run away together to elope because their parents weren't happy. He was drawing a sign on the cliff and they died. So all the stuff about like Indian Barrow Grounds and warnings and, and all this jazz were not related. So that's why all that kind of spookiness disappeared really quickly once you kind of realised what was going on in the episode. That it was just a dude, really sad, died, waiting for the love of his life to turn up, maybe died thinking she was not going to come because her parents wouldn't let her. And so died, trying to draw a symbol of his love, thinking she's not going to show up, which is sad. And the episode was sad as well when we looked at Marjorie, who's an elderly woman in a care home. Clearly... Her memory's not as good. She's making mistakes. We can see that she was cooking on like the, the stove type thing with the plastic bowl which melted. So she wasn't doing too well and needed to be moved out to a more private place where she could get more care. But then when we realized that the ghost was her ex-boyfriend, they went and told the ghost like, she still loves you, go, go to Marjorie, go to her. And then we saw them walking off and found out Marjorie died and that was Really sweet, really, that I guess that she could die and go on with him in the afterlife and spend 
you know, they have to laugh together because she said, I never loved anybody else. He was obviously still waiting for her. She still loved him. And they got to be together. So that was really cute. I don't have a lot to say about the episode. I feel like this review is going to be really short. Because it was actually a really simple story. There's a ghost in the woods of this boyfriend. We found out who the girlfriend was. Get them back together. They move on. There's not a lot to really say. There wasn't really any spooky moments. Because every time we saw the ghost, he was just going... Or <laughs> even the guy in Frozen Ghost was going, I'm cold. Um, he didn't speak until we got to the top of the cliff and then we kind of found out because he thought the girl was Marjorie, so that makes sense why he was appearing to her but nobody else because he thought that she was Marjorie because she looked similar when she was younger. It was cute. It was a nice story, but don't really have anything to dissect. It was a very simple story. Very nice. It was okay. I think I preferred Dead Man's Float because, as I've said before, that's kind of more my kind of jam when it comes to Euphoria the Dark, the more spooky ones. So I'm excited to see later on in the season anything that's a bit more creepy, especially ones that I haven't got any memory of. I'm really excited to watch those ones. But this one was nice. It was just it was one of those nice ones that kind of fits in the same sort of realm as kind of like Apartment 314, that kind of nicey kind of... There's a little bit of spookiness, but it has like a nice little vibe. Room for Rent. That kind of all gives me that similar sort of vibe. Particularly Room for Rent, that kind of similar. This person died before speaking to the love of his life. Blah, 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 blah. So, yeah. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please let me know down below in the comments what you thought of the tale of the jagged sign. Did you enjoy it? Is this your favourite episode? I don't know. Let me know down below what you thought. As always, my name is Scott. I hope you guys are well taking care of yourselves and staying safe. If you enjoyed the video, I'm excited to read your comments. Please go to my channel if you're not already. And I'll see you all very soon. For the next episode of Euphoria the Dark Season 5 and Stig's next story. Hopefully, if my episodes are in the right order. Bye guys, take care, stay safe, and I'll see you all very soon for the next episode.